Can two sperm make a baby? At the moment, same-sex couples can't make a baby that shares both their genes, unless they're mice. Scientists in China have now made mouse pups using the sperm, and therefore genes, of two mouse fathers. And for the first time, their babies grew up to be healthy adults. The sperm and egg each contains half the DNA of the parent in their nucleus, and during fertilization, those nuclei combine to make a baby. But making babies with just sperm or just eggs involves more than bringing their nuclei together. That's because some parental genes are tagged with a chemical imprint that signals mother or father and turns some genes off or on. These genes can affect development, so when two same-sex parents mix genes, the embryo fails. But about 20 years ago, scientists experimenting with mouse egg cells created pups with two biological mothers. They did this by deleting the bits of DNA responsible for those mother imprints. But the mother's genes seem to be less problematic than those tagged by the father. In sperm, more of the imprints affect development and need to be deleted. That's a harder task. All attempts to cut out father genes, as they did in the mothers, have resulted in offspring that died quickly or were infertile. Instead, the team targeted some of the dad marking chemical imprints the ones that switch the dad genes on or off. And they did this by extracting the nucleus of an egg cell and then filling that empty cell with special editor proteins. These editors were designed to switch off some of the father imprints that affect genes controlling development in a specific mouse breed sperm. They then injected two mouse sperm into the nucleus-free egg full of these editors. One of those sperm was from that special breed of mouse that the editors could target. So they were able to switch off its dad-marked chemical imprints, meaning its genes would behave more like a mother's. The other normal sperm could then combine with the changed sperm inside the egg cell and start development like normal. They'd managed to create embryos with genes from two dads. The team implanted 259 embryos into surrogate mice, of those embryos, two healthy male mice were born. It's not a high success rate, but both were able to reproduce naturally when they grew up. So could two human sperm create a baby too? Well, research into our own embryos is rightly heavily regulated, but it is a step towards a distant future where same-sex couples may, one day, have children they are both genetically related to.